Number 10. Nazi Wreckage The wreckage of a German steamship destroyed in war has recently been found by divers. The steamship had been sunk at the very end of the war. It's not the wreckage itself, though, that's so amazing, but rather the crates discovered in the jumbled mess of the broken ship. The crates appear as though they could be filled with treasure stolen from the Amber Room, which lies inside a Russian palace. German soldiers invaded in 1941 and must have taken the loot for themselves. The shipwreck was found just off the coast of Poland at a depth of only 290 feet or 88 meters. That's actually quite shallow for a shipwreck from World War II. The ship itself is called the SS Kasula, and in April of 1945, it was part of a German evacuation from East Prussia, as the few remaining Nazis tried to abandon ship. Historians have suspected for quite some time the treasure from the Amber Room was on the vessel when it fled and then later sank. The treasures had once beautifully decorated a room of pure amber at Catherine Palace on the edge of St. Petersburg. The Russians had actually stolen the idea to do this from the Germans, who had already made a room of amber at the Charlottenburg Palace. Maybe the Germans felt entitled to it? The Russians put over 6 tons or 12,000 pounds of amber into the room, along with treasures that are worth around $500 million today. It's not clear if the Amber Room treasures are inside the shipwreck, but experts are pretty hopeful. We just have to wait until they retrieve the crates out of the ocean and see. Number 9. Leftover Bombs Two men who were trying to build a map of World War II unexploded ordnance have been killed by the very explosives that they were trying to keep the public safe from. This happened to two aid workers in the Solomon Islands. The Solomon Islands is a nation covered in unaccounted for and unexploded bombs from World War II. The aid workers were trying their best to find out where all the deadly munitions were so that they could clean the place up and detonate all the bombs safely. Not the safest of jobs. Well, the men got a bit more than they bargained for after they found a live bomb, took it to the house they were living in, and then got blown up. According to the New York Times, these guys were not supposed to take bombs home with them. Even those who were very close to the men didn't understand what they were thinking. Stephen Atkinson from Britain and Trent Lee from Australia have been described as devoted professionals. But alas, one wrong move spelled the end for them. We don't know what kind of bomb they found, and maybe they thought they could get rid of it themselves for some reason. But in the end, the bomb blew them up and both men died. Number 8. Plane in the Backyard A young boy in Denmark was just trying to do his history homework when he stumbled upon an amazing relic from World War II buried in his own backyard. It all happened after the kid's dad suggested they search the backyard for war artifacts to help with his assignment. What neither of them realized at the time was that a German Messerschmitt fighter plane had crashed on their farm in 1944. They searched the grounds with a metal detector and were shocked to discover a huge collection of metal right under their feet. They used an excavator to dig and discovered a plane. They dug the plane out, which ended up being only 20 feet or about 6 meters beneath their feet the entire time they'd lived in their house. The plane was broken up into tons of pieces when they found it, and definitely not salvageable. But even more amazing is that they also found the dead pilot's bones, his ruined clothing, and the guy's wallet. His wallet even still had money in it. If I were that kid's history teacher, I would be giving him an A plus for sure. Have you ever found something cool buried in your backyard? Let me know if you have in the comments section below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 7. World War II Battleship The USS Nevada was a battleship from World War II that was recently discovered 70 nautical miles or 112 kilometers from Pearl Harbor, resting at the bottom of the ocean at a depth of over 15,000 feet. That's almost 3 miles or 4.8 kilometers. The USS Nevada was commissioned in 1916 and served at Pearl Harbor. The battleship even survived up to 10 blasts and a torpedo impact during the attack on December 7, 1941. But unlike many other ships, it didn't sink that day. 
It was actually repaired and went on to participate in the deadly invasion of Normandy in 1944. Using its huge 5-inch or 12-centimeter and 14-inch or 36-centimeter guns to batter the German defenses as American soldiers stormed the beaches. Later, the battleship joined the invasions of Okinawa and Iwo Jima in Japan. Then, at the very end of the war, as the battleship neared the end of its life, the army used it as a target in some of their first atomic bomb tests at Bikini Atoll. The ship was still afloat even after getting hit by two atomic bombs, but it was then rendered radioactive, towed to Pearl Harbor, and used as target practice, then eventually hit by an aerial torpedo and purposely sank. This thing sure did take a beating throughout its life, but the Navy never recorded the exact coordinates of where it sank, making the recent discovery of the battleship at the bottom of the ocean quite impressive. Number 6. Hidden Air Raid Shelter During the coronavirus pandemic lockdown in England, a grandfather, Kandu Patel, discovered an air raid shelter hidden underneath his lawn. He had been living in his house for 40 years and never had a clue. According to the grandfather himself, he always wondered why there was a manhole cover in his yard, but he never bothered investigating. Then, being bored with the pandemic, he and a friend decided to lift the manhole cover and see what was underneath. They were shocked to discover what looked like a ceiling of concrete. They had to break through the concrete, at which point they discovered a staircase leading down to a secret air raid shelter. From what experts can tell, the shelter was probably used during the war to keep the local neighbors safe during German bombings. Then, for whatever reason, it was covered up and abandoned, with the only evidence of its existence being a measly manhole cover. Now Patel plans to turn the air raid shelter into a bar for him and his family to enjoy. I like the way this guy thinks. What would you turn it into? Number 5. Metals in the Dumpster A dumpster diver in Hickory, North Carolina discovered the legacy of a war hero. The hero's name was Donald Helfer, and he flew in 28 missions during World War II and was decorated for his outstanding bravery. He got a Navy Flying Cross and a Bronze Star. He even got a letter straight from the president of the time, Harry Truman, expressing gratitude for helping to defeat the enemy. But Helfer never told his family about what he'd done in the military. He buried his past and became a police officer in New York before retiring to Florida and passing away in 1993. His kids never really knew who he was. Then, along comes a dumpster diver who discovered Helfer's medals, his photos and identification, and his military records amongst a heap of garbage. They were probably discarded by whoever found them while sorting through his late wife's estate and decided to just toss them in the trash. But the dumpster diver recognized their worth, he sought out an American Legion post, and turned them over. Helfer's daughter, Linda Delory, was eventually contacted and she made the long drive out to pick up her dad's belongings. Linda found herself amazed as she turned the pages of the neatly organized binder the man had put together containing her father's precious photos and mementos. There were pictures she had never seen before. Delory also got to see a picture of her grandfather. History was unfolding right before her eyes. Now that the treasure has been restored to her family, Linda plans to share it with her relatives as soon as she's able. Suffice to say, it was a very emotional trip. Number 4. Lost Submarine In 1943, the USS Grenadier submarine was attacked by Japanese bombers and scuttled. The crew members were taken by the Japanese soldiers and tortured at a prison camp for over two incredibly long years which must have felt like centuries for the men. The ship had a very violent and tragic history and was ultimately lost. But recently, about 90 miles or 145 kilometers from Thailand, some divers stumbled upon this very ship over 200 feet or 60 meters below the water, 77 years after it was submerged. The wreckage is now rich in marine life and hardly looks like a weapon of war. There's algae all over it, and it's even covered in dirty old fishing nets. But how did the ship go down in the first place? According to the New York Times, it was April 20th when they were attacked by a Japanese plane, forcing them to go down 267 feet or 81 meters below the surface. The hole and hatches were leaking. A fire had broken out, 
and they were in pretty rough shape. Two days later, they were struck again. They had no choice but to quickly destroy their coding machine with hammers, get rid of all of their important data, and scuttle the ship. 76 members of the crew survived, though what followed were two years of beatings, burnings, breakings, and other unspeakable horrors. Number 3. Live Explosions Carl Peterson was checking out his grandfather's war collection when he discovered something quite shocking. What Carl found inside the box of World War II memorabilia caused the evacuation of almost an entire street in the High Springs area. Carl's grandfather had sent the box back home from the last ship he was on during the war. And among some fairly normal memorabilia, there were also two live Japanese knee mortars that had been sitting there for 75 years. The box had been kept in the family shed, and nobody had any idea that the box could have blown up at any minute. Carl phoned the police, and they called the bomb squad, and the situation was defused, no pun intended. Carl was able to keep the box of artifacts, which included signal cards, old war rations, and even Japanese cigarettes sent home by his grandfather. The bombs, on the other hand, were confiscated. Why his grandfather thought it would be okay to keep knee mortars in the shed is still a bit of a mystery. Number 2. Lost Enigma Machine It was in 2020 that German divers commissioned by the World Wildlife Foundation went to the Baltic Sea to extract abandoned fishing nets from the seafloor. While they were cleaning up the water and getting rid of those pesky nets, they stumbled upon an extremely rare machine used by the Germans during the Second World War. It was an Enigma machine, one of the rarest artifacts from the war. When the Germans realized that they were losing, they began destroying all of their code machines and throwing them overboard from any vessel that were out at sea. They desperately wanted to keep the codes and the technology away from the Allied forces. Historians believe this Enigma machine was probably thrown over the side of a vessel where it had been left to rot on the seafloor ever since. The encryption device itself was invented in 1919 by a Dutch national named Hugo Koch. He had invented the machine for business purposes. But once the German army got a hold of it, they modified the machine and turned it into the most notorious code-sending contraption in all of history. The artifact has since been handed over to an archaeology museum in Germany, where it will be restored and then put on display for the public. Number 1. The Bucket List The final story today isn't exactly about something discovered, at least not in the usual way. In Maryland, a veteran from World War II has finally crossed something off of her bucket list. She worked up the courage to finally go skydiving at the ripe old age of 102. She was apparently inspired by President George H.W. Bush, who did the same thing when he was 90. But she beat him by 12 years. Let this be a heartfelt lesson for everyone that it's never too late to live your dreams. Vivian Bailey joined the army and had become a second lieutenant by 1943. Nearly 80 years later, she discovered her youth by jumping out of an airplane. Thanks for watching. Have you ever found a World War II treasure? Let me know about it in the comments and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos from the channel. See you next time. Bye bye.